So this video is going to walk through getting our laser cut drawing ready to go and to be able to export as a DXF to, to laser cut our pieces. Now you can see I've got mine sort of spaced out because I've got a few different elements that I've added here. So this first one here is all of my MDF pieces. So you can see I've gone in and added my detail for each of the, the kerf cuts that I wanted to use. So I've added that um, linear sketch pattern through through each of those. And you can see then I've got two, two that happening with that one. Um, the other thing you'll notice is I've actually sort of thought quite carefully about how I've spaced this out to try and be as compact and neat as possible. So I've got a few things that are sitting inside each other and nicely, nicely lined up. So really important that we try and maximize the use of our, our material. If you have a look down here, I've got my pieces that are going to be acrylic. Then I've got my paper. And then down here, the last bit there is sitting, um, is going to be the, the front, which is the, the pleather. So I've got each of the pieces that are, are, are separate. So when I import that in, I can either, I can copy bits off, cut it, um, and and only do certain pieces when I get a laser cut. But the way we go about setting this up is we want to make sure that our draw our our um, assembly has parts that we're able to import through here. So I'm going to show you how to do that next. So to be able to import a part into a drawing, we need to make sure that it's separate. So each of my pieces, I've got. Um, they're actually an external part, so they've been saved as their own individual entity. So if they say they're in make virtual, that means it's already an external part, that's happy days. So if you each of your parts is like that, or you may even be able to just go and open all the parts you wanna be able to import can be another way to do it. Um, but now if I go back to my drawing, or I'll just go to a new drawing in this case, um, We want a drawing. Again, doesn't matter the size, but if we want to go, it'll probably be about A3. I don't have any anything on there, which is good. Now, the open document is the whole assembly. I don't need that. I need my individual pieces. So then I'll go through and find each of the pieces that I need and open it through. What you want to make sure as you're going through is you can see my drawing is one to one, which is perfect. And I've got the face view here. So that's happy days for that one. What I do want to do is delete the, the circles center lines through there as well, because that would laser cut out. So I would go through and then add in each part that I need to go through. So you can see it starts to load up in here, the bits that I've got. So if I need to have more than one, one thing, you can reselect it there as well. So my base, I want to then make sure is actually using the sheet scale. And I can add them on as I go. I'll go through and delete off those center lines as otherwise they will cut out on there as well. So I'll go through and populate that out. Once I've got all the pieces on that I need, I'm going to go file, save as, and I want to change this to being a DXF. So for our laser cutter, DXF is what's required. I have a meaningful name. So this is going to be my radio um, demo. Often I add laser cut to it because you'll have a few other drawings as you go through as well. And I'm going to save that. So that DXF now is available for me to be able to throw into USB get it over to the laser to be able to cut out. 